Hey everyone, I finally got my hands on the new Figma UI. In this review, I will share my personal and professional experiences with the updated interface. When you first open Figma, you will be greeted with an onboarding popover. The first change highlighted is the new bottom toolbar. Previously, tools were located in the top navbar. By moving them, Figma saves around 100 pixels of the top screen area, providing more space for users with smaller displays. This is a strategic move, and most users are already familiar with floating toolbars. I might be a little bit biased since I work on Miro's core product experience team where I design components for the main UI, so basically I've been seeing Miro's interface every single day. But I believe this change won't cause significant issues for users. Let's click the second step in the popover. Dev mode. However, I'm not on a paid plan. I was immediately presented with a sales dialog, which surprisingly had two X close buttons in the top right corner. Figma, please pay attention to these small details. Now I will head back to the design mode. The onboarding popover is gone, and there's no clear way to access it again. This isn't a problem for me as a Figma user, but it might be confusing for first time users. With the top navbar removed, all file, edit, and view settings are now hidden under a drop down menu. This could be overwhelming for users due to the sheer number of menu items, making it harder to find specific options. However, it's a scalable solution since drop-down menus can expand infinitely, accommodating new features. I appreciate the hide panels toggle in the top left corner. It helps focus on the design process when needed. However, I notice Figma is heavily promoting open source libraries like iOS and Material which takes up a lot of space and can be visually distracting. The pages and layers panels remain unchanged, which is good. The board design and prototype tabs are also the same, but now both side panels are floating. I'm not sure this saves much space and the left and right margins aren't sufficient for overseeing designs on the canvas board. It seems like Figma is trying to unify the overall product experiences between FigJam and Figma. But in this case, unification doesn't add much value. One small detail I like is the designs on the edges fade slightly when the floating panels are visible, reducing visual clutter compared to Miro. This is a nice touch. Now let's look at the design panel. Unfortunately, my first impression was overwhelming. Figma tried to group input fields for settings in additional visual containers, but the result is a cluttered and visually overwhelming UI. This could pose accessibility issues, especially for users with different needs. Figma should prioritize accessibility in their design. The current setup might cause eye strain or even photosensitive epilepsy for some users. I hope Figma reconsiders this in the final release. Figma has also rearranged some UI elements, like moving position settings below the main component settings. This isn't a major downside, but users will need time to readjust. Some smaller UI elements have new UX writing, like clip content in off state is now labeled as show content and clip content replacing the checkbox UI with a select menu. I'm not sure if this change was necessary as clip content is well known across many design products. Personally, I like the redesign iconography. It adds a personalized touch to the UI. However, some icons are unclear or unnecessary. For instance, the Remove Auto Layout toggle has an icon with two boxes aligned to the top, which could be interpreted in various ways. From my experience working on Miro's design system, standalone iconography should only be used when universally recognized. Complex features still need clear labeling. Component properties now have additional icons to indicate the type of property, like toggle or text field. This isn't necessary and takes up space. In my opinion, it's better to leave the communication of the component APIs and properties to designers. At Miro, we use custom symbols with labels to group property types, making the UI cleaner. Overall, I'm not fan of the new redesign. It looks fresh, but in the long term it might be overwhelming, especially as Figma introduces more settings and options. It starts to feel more like using Blender or 3ds Max rather than regular design software. The remove top navbar is a big plus, but still Figma should consider accessibility more seriously. 
They are known for iterating quickly, so I hope they take user feedback seriously and improve. I'm curious what's your point of view, leave comments in the section below. Stay tuned for more videos and thank you for watching.